Where has your family been most supportive in your career development? My immediate family, my wife and my parents have supported pretty much everything that I think I've ever wanted to do. Um, we actually, my wife and I were joking about it and it's not really that funny that she's she's sort of like given up. At, at each stage of our movings, we moved from Pittsburgh to Austin, Austin to Savannah, Savannah back to Austin. At each stage, she's sort of like given up something for me to be, to do the next phase. And so now it's, now theoretically it's her turn, except she doesn't want to move anywhere anymore. Uh, neither do I for that matter. But um, uh, my parents have supported pretty much every single thing I've ever wanted to do in terms of education. Um, they've supported it financially, they've supported it emotionally, um, and they've never really questioned um, or challenged things um, and instead simply opened, uh, welcomed them um, sort of with open arms. Um, and, and I think that's, like, I didn't know that, that that was rare. I don't have a point of reference for what other people's parents do. But now that I'm an educator and I see what other people's parents do, I realize sort of how unique that is. Um, that there's a whole lot of, of inner familial questioning of, is this really the right path for you? Is this really the best thing for you? I don't think this is the right path for you. When you meet students that are sharing their own stories with their parents, uh, what advice do you give them? Well, sometimes the advice is actually not what the students want to hear uh, and certainly not what the parents want to hear. Um, I don't teach undergrads anymore, but when I did, a common piece of advice would be maybe you don't actually need an undergraduate degree uh, because uh, I, would hear, I would hear all of the, the sort of wrong reasons for being in school, the, the number one being because my dad said so. <laughs> um, and you know, when I was teaching at an art and design school, uh, the, the sort of common narrative structure would be something like, I didn't get into any other school. I only got into the art and design school. I don't really want to go, but the parents said, you're going to a college. And so this is it. Um, and if you think about, you know, in that case, it's $120,000 education and, and, um, and not really going to have sort of that, that passion at the heart of it. It's like, well, we'll wait. It's okay to wait. Um, and that's something that, that is sort of like not on the table for a lot of people. There's this, this very common um, idea that if you don't go to college, uh, you're a failure and your life is over. And actually, we've done some qualitative research recently at my EDU with um, high school students and college students. And that narrative starts when you're like six. Hmm. And the narrative is you need to take the hard classes with the good teachers in middle school and high school and the AP classes so that you can go to the good college, so that you can get the right major, so that you can get the good internships, so you can get the good job, so you can be successful. And, and the narrative is obviously false because that doesn't happen for anyone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but the expectation is there yeah, and it's sort of drilled in from day one and the repercussions create so much anxiety that um, there's sort of this paralysis that we've, that we've witnessed you know, in this qualitative research, uh, which sometimes turns into apathy, right? And it's like, well, uh, there's no way I'm going to achieve that narrative, so I might as well not try. And it's, uh, it's pretty disheartening, actually, when you look at sort of how many people have had that fed to them. Um, and so, so I think the, the, the common narrative, there, or the common response to the narrative, if there is one, is, is college the right thing for you? Um, and not knowing is okay, mm -hmm. because, because it's, it seems kind of crazy to expect an 18, 19, 20-year-old to know, like, is college the right thing? Is engineering the right degree is University of Texas the right school who knows and what does that even mean um, yeah so it's, it's sort of like let the serendipity happen and again that's easier to said than done in many cases